grow. Climate change is real and uh, we need to adopt environmental friendly practices that gradually will help us reduce the negative effects and impacts of climate change. Particularly in agriculture, there are crops which have been developed that are adaptive to changing climate uh, situations. We also have what we call smart climate agricultural practices. We need to promote them, we need to make people aware of them. But more importantly, it is a collective responsibility. Climate will affect everybody, irrespective of whether you are in agriculture or not in agriculture. So for agriculture, it is mainly to do with the conservation of nature and using practices that conserve nature as much as possible. Maybe the horizon of two, three years is so short. We have moved, we have seen where people have made impact where the farmer's productivity has shifted, it is a consistent uh, practice for 10, 15 years. And the impact would come, and we will all see things happening differently. Three years, five years remains a short term planning or intervention for the agricultural sector to transform. Because people take time to change their mindset take time to change their practices. They continue doing things the way they were doing them until there is something that changes them that they see they are missing out. We have had a bad history of attempts to transform the agricultural sector in Uganda with limited research, without national guidance. You find someone is promoting, let's say, vanilla and he has not done enough groundwork to know actually the, the position of vanilla as a commodity in the world market. At some stage, people were surely abusing vanilla as a crop. But today, and I think that is more than now 20 years, today vanilla is still one of the world's earning commodities. But because you don't do things, we don't do things in a consistent way you discourage or you misinform the people. We have heard about Moringa. I mean, the products of Moringa are still fetching a very good price at the world level. But who was there to drive the investment, to drive the population, that actually we can make an earning in this? Coffee is doing well, at least is a good example, that through the 60s, the 70s, Despite all the challenges, coffee has remained at least a crop that people are thinking about. If we had other similar crops, then we would have a transformation happening. But I would give that strategy 10 to 15 years consistently, give people fertilizer, give them improved seed, give them the best opportunities to exploit the market, let them start benefiting from the land, and the transformation will happen. I made my agri points and I hope they add value to you.